There are over 7,000 genetic conditions, and although I personally believe that Fabry disease is the most important one for every physician to know, you can't know all of them, and all of them are very important to understand. And that's why education for physicians is so important, so they can understand how to prioritize in their patient population what to really pay attention to, what they really need to think about, and who needs to be referred out to genetics or someone who really understands how to navigate all of these complicated genetic conditions. Um, there are programs that are working on education, events and lectures that are given to try to help patients understand, or I'm sorry, um, there are educational events, there are lectures, there are CME opportunities that are out there to help physicians navigate Fabry disease and other treatable genetic conditions. Uh, we put more uh, stock in knowing about Fabry disease at this point because there is a treatment and we know if it's identified early then it's going to make, it's going to hopefully make a significant difference. Uh, in later medical complications. But when we talk about physicians and we talk about rare diseases, you can't know them all. So I think the most important thing is for them to know some key symptoms, some key features of Fabry disease, and know who to refer them to to get the best care. When we talk about a specific complication in Fabry disease, if a patient with Fabry disease is having a stroke, the Fabry part is not as important as it is to getting the patient the care they need for that stroke. When we talk about a patient who has a malignant arrhythmia, the most important thing is treating that arrhythmia. The most important thing about understanding the baseline of Fabry disease is understanding the small vessel disease and how that contributes and leads to the complications that you see. And the other important thing is knowing that treatment, hopefully, can stabilize or decrease symptoms over time. So uh, when it comes to physicians, you can't expect them to know everything if they're not specialized. But you can expect a specialist to treat the piece he knows with information from geneticists and other specialists in Fabry disease who can help inform and help them understand the quirks of Fabry disease. How renal failure um, should be treated with a renal transplant Fabry disease as well, but also understanding there's cardiac implications for that and stroke implications. Understanding the depression that's very common in Fabry disease and how that may affect the downstream effect of a transplant and transplant compliance. So it is important for physicians to understand Fabry disease, um, but they don't have to be full experts. The important part is knowing where to find your full Fabry disease experts because that can make the difference in a patient's outcome.